Hello and welcome to the Hack Engineering YouTube channel. We've been a little bit quiet lately just where we've been so busy in the workshop. But we're back with another one of our pretty massive builds. This one uh, really revolves around the engine you see in front of me and the build process in many ways begins in the engine builder room, which is where I am now. So this belongs to our customer, Paul. It currently runs 645 horsepower in an F82 M4 competition. Uh, not a grey car, really, really nice bit of kit. Um, Paul spent money in all the right places and has been a good customer for the last couple of years, but it is now time to take things up a gear. So rather than running 645 horsepower, thanks to those Litco turbos here and a few other modifications, uh, kind of the usual down pipes, charge pipes, even Turi air intakes, uh, one of our mid pipes, Remus exhaust, and mapping via boot mod three. Um, it really hasn't been that extensively touched. So this engine is currently completely standard, other than those turbos bolted to the side. Hasn't ever been opened. Uh, it's only on 23,000 miles. Um, but Paul wanted to take things up a notch. He wants something that's really gonna scare him. So our goal with this really is a thousand horsepower. Uh, whether we quite get there or not, we shall see, but we've got all the right ingredients there. So what we'll be doing with this is stripping it down. The cylinder head is going to be ported um, and not just your usual porting of make the holes as big as possible. Um, there's, there's quite a bit more to porting than people realise. Um, full Supertech valve train, ARP head studs, Marlow motorsport pistons, arrow rods, balance crank, uh, VTT crank hub, which actually this already does have, that's the one mod it does have. Um, uprated clutches, uprated prop drive shafts, a load of chassis modifications and a load of fueling modifications, including port methanol injection, which we'll get to in another episode. Um, and yeah, uh, the other thing is um, we've got Kratos turbos going on there. so. These Litcos are one of our favourite turbos. They respond really quickly. They respond, they drive like standard, but with another 100 horsepower or so, which makes a massive difference. Um, they're so punchy, but they are designed to be punchy. They're not designed to do 1,000 horsepower. So unfortunately they'll be going, but Kratos Turbo is going in their place, um, which are one of the few bits we're still waiting on to get this, this build really going. Um, and then uh, yeah, we should be able to put it together and, and see what power it can do. Now, a lot of these S55s get built and in all honesty, we look at them and we cringe. Um, <laughs> the build quality just isn't there from a lot of places um, who will literally just drop a set of rods and pistons in. That's not the making of a built engine as far as we're concerned and certainly not the making of a race engine, which is really what we're doing here. Um, everything should be measured, blueprinted, balanced, done properly. So this engine is being stripped completely to component form. Crank will be balanced, everything will be measured. We'll reassemble it um, with our own specified bearing clearances, um, piston to wall clearances, things like that. Um, the head will be completely ported. All the Supertech valve train will be built up um, at, the, uh, at our machine shop, which is the other side of this wall. Um, and then, as well as that, it's difficult. Basically, we'll go through it step by step because there's so much more to building a cylinder head than people realise. It's not just putting in valves and pistons, uh, sorry, valves and springs. Um, each and every seat has got to be properly recut to the valve. Everything's got to be done properly. Spring heights checked, spring rates checked. Um, even down to the way it is assembled, uh, it's not a pop it together job. It's a proper blueprinting job, just like the bottom end of these. So Matt's gonna to get to work, strip this engine down, see what we've got. Obviously with how little mileage it's done, we're expecting it to be like new. Um, and then we can crack on with getting the various processes completed and get this engine built back up. So next thing you're gonna see is Matt stripping this engine down so we can get the head away for porting. See you in a bit. <laughs> 